the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. So far, so good. Right. Well, this is as far as our exercise takes us. I'll report to base. Hovercraft 8 to base. Hovercraft 8 to base. This is base Koala. Major Stone here. We have completed the exercise, Major. Nothing to report. Returning to base. Control. Activate boost. It's no good. It won't clear. We're overheating. The whole thing's going to blow. Hovercraft 8 to base. We're in trouble. Losing control and overheating. Give me your instrumentation readings. Oil pressure 10. Come on, Joe. There's no time. It's going to blow any second. Hovercraft 8. Hovercraft 8. This is Colonel White to all members of Spectrum Cloudbase. The Mistrons tell us that there is a traitor somewhere in the organization. We must not allow this to create suspicion among ourselves or to lower morale. Our entire operation relies to a great extent on mutual trust. Daily, we place our lives in each other's hands. We must not allow this trust to be broken. That is all. Thank you. Lieutenant Green? Yes, Colonel White? I'm going down to see Captain Blue and Captain Scarlet. Where are they? In the lounge, sir. Right. Do you think there's a traitor in Spectrum? Well, a lot of strange things have been happening recently. There may well be. Uh, I'd like to get my hands on him. Well, Colonel White. It's all right, gentlemen. Please don't get up. I'm glad I found you alone. I wanted to have a confidential talk. Yes, Colonel. As senior members of Spectrum, I can tell you I'm worried. About the alleged traitor, Colonel? 
Yes, Captain Blue. At least one branch of Spectrum has good reason to believe he exists. Koala Base, Australia. Sabotage, Major Sloan. That's the only explanation. Ours was the third hovercraft to go out of control and explode in six days. We were lucky to come out of it alive. I hate to say this, but I feel I must agree with you. Someone on this base seems to be determined to destroy it. I have decided to suspend all patrols until further notice. That is all. Yes, Major. Yes, sir. I'd like a word with you in private, Johnson. Yes, Major. Now we're alone. As senior cadet, tell me, who was at the controls just before the explosion? Makin was. Could he have sabotaged the hovercraft himself? It's possible, but... But you don't think he'd do it? No. I asked you to give me readings over the radio, remember? Yes, but the whole thing was about to go up. We only just got clear in time. Or maybe he just didn't want me to discover the cause of the overheating. This is a very special assignment. As cadet leader, I want you to report to me personally. All right, sir. I'll do that. This will be your final briefing before you leave for Koala Base. What'll be our cover, Colonel? Major Stone, the base commander, has not requested outside help. You will be there ostensibly to give a series of lectures to the new recruits. But our real job is to establish whether sabotage has occurred? Exactly. And I can't overemphasize how important this assignment is. A mistron can be found without detector, but a traitor is an ordinary man. He could be the man at your side, much more deadly. We'll find him, Colonel. We've got to. The angels will patrol outside the base perimeter, beyond the radar, but near enough to come to your assistance, fast, if they're needed. SIG, Colonel. We'll leave at once. Angels 2 and 3, immediate launch. Request launch clearance. Spectrum is green. Welcome to Koala Base, gentlemen. Thank you, Major. The recruits are looking forward to your lectures. We're always glad to help in any way we can. In any way, Major. And what exactly do you mean by that? We've heard you've had a little trouble at the base recently. Nothing to worry about. Nothing we can't handle ourselves. Shall we get over to the lecture room, gentlemen? Of course, Major. I'm sure you'd like me to thank Captain Scarlett on your behalf for that most interesting lecture. Now, if there are any questions, the captains tell me that they will do their best to answer. Captain Scarlett, we've all heard about your incredible exploits and amazing recoveries, but could you tell us what actually happened at the London Car View? I'm afraid the whole episode is a complete blank. I'm sure Captain Blue will tell you about it. Of course. Well, let's see. Captain Scarlett was in the hands of the Mistrons. He had hijacked the world president but his only escape route took him to the London Car View. All this time, I was trying to clear my racing brain, trying to make sense out of this frightening, inexplicable situation. Spectrum Helicopter A-42, what is your position? I'm already heading for London Car View. We'll rendezvous in one minute. I had 
lived and worked with Captain Scarlet. He was a friend as well as a fellow officer in Spectrum, but other forces now held him in their power. Captain Scarlet, this is Captain Black relaying instructions from the Mysterons. We have taken over helicopter A-42. It will pick you and the President up from the Sky Park. I will again remind you, we must have the World President alive. Captain Scarlett is leaving his car. He has the President at gunpoint. And they are climbing out on the girder structure at the side of the Sky Park. S.I.G. Spectrum Helicopter A-42, you know the situation. As soon as you arrive, your first target is Captain Scarlet. And make sure you shoot accurately. He's right next to the President. I would have trusted Captain Scarlet with my life. And here I was, facing him as an enemy, intent on his destruction. Destiny Angel, helicopter A-42 is firing at me. Must now be considered as hostile. S.I.G. <laughs> Destiny Angel, come in for attack. Repeat, come in for attack. S.I.G. Once more, I was confused. Why was the Spectrum helicopter firing at me? Then I began to realize the terrible powers of the Mysterons and knew there was no turning back. I was fighting for my life. Okay, Captain, you don't stand a chance. president was shaken, but basically unhurt. The Mysterons had failed. And Captain Scarlet? Well, as you can see, he made an amazing recovery. But he was under the control of the Mysterons. For those few hours, yes, he was. Gentlemen, our guests must be tired. I suggest we let them get some rest. Come to bed, Phil. We've got a heavy schedule tomorrow. Just a minute. Listen. Captain Scarlet would have access to all sections of Spectrum, including the plant where the hovercraft were made. What are you driving at? Just thinking. Trying to work something out. Get to bed. I need some air. I think I'll take a walk.
Adam, wake up. The place is on fire. We've got to get out of here. I'm glad to see you gentlemen are none the worse for your ordeal. Another few minutes and we would have been overcome by the smoke. If Captain Scarlet hadn't managed to wake up... I'll order a complete investigation, of course. But it looks like sabotage. What do you intend to do about it, Major? If we have a traitor, I intend to bring him into the open. I've decided to resume the hovercraft exercises. If you've no objection, Major, we'd like to go along. Hovercraft number four will leave in 15 minutes. Captain Scarlet and Captain Blue will be joining it. So, the famous Captain Scarlet is coming with us. What have you got against Captain Scarlet? Remember, he was nearly killed in the fire last night. You're forgetting he's indestructible. Let's assume for a moment he's still in the hands of the Mysterons. Wouldn't something like last night's fire throw us all off the scent? Well, let's hope spontaneous combustion doesn't break out in here. Do you think it could have been an accident? It's possible, but in the present circumstances, unlikely. Any ideas who could have started the fire? The field's wide open. Could have been practically anyone on the base. What do you think? Well, just a suspicion in the back of my mind. Who? The Major. Major Stone? Yes. He's in the best position to sabotage this base. And why restart the hovercraft patrols? It's asking for trouble. Unless he's looking for trouble. Well, maybe. We'll soon find out. And you say Macon suspects Captain Scarlet? Yes, sir. He was trying to convince me he is the traitor. Out of the question. Captain Scarlet has proved his loyalty time and time again. I know. Maybe Macon was just trying to distract attention from himself. And he could be the one who started that fire. He went for a walk late last night. I started to follow him, but lost him. Well, he could be our man. But we've got to have proof. He could make his play on the next patrol. Don't worry. I'll watch his every move. Hovercraft 4 to base. Proceeding on course 124 magnetic. Speed 20 knots. SIG. What route will we follow? Are you worried, Captain Scarlet? Not unduly. I'd just like to know where we're heading. We'll make a normal exercise sweep. What's the outside temperature? 120 degrees. It's pretty high. About average for this time of year. There's the wreck of hovercraft too. Did the men inside get clear? No, Captain Scarlet. They were both killed. Hovercraft 4 to Koala Base. Loud and clear, Hovercraft 4. Have completed exercise. Nothing to report. Returning to base. Understood. Well, if anything's going to happen, now's the time. We're losing control. Activate boost. It's no good. We're overheating. The whole craft will explode, just like last time. Not exactly the same. This time the traitor is with us. Isn't he, Captain Scarlet? Make him. Put that gun away. No. Either he tells us how this hovercraft has been sabotaged, or we'll all go up with it. It's him. He's trying to kill us all. He was the one who started the fire. Shut up. Well, Captain Scarlet? Wait a minute. You're jumping to conclusions. I might be the traitor, or anyone on the base. You're trying to confuse me. It'll explode any second. We've got to get out of here.
Okay, Captain Scarlet, I've got the gun. Right. Now, instead of blaming each other, let's try and find out what's wrong. Captain Blue, take these two to the escape hatch and get clear. I'll get the instrument recorder. SIG. Right. Jump. I'm fine, Captain Blue, but I think Macon has broken his ankle. It'll be all right. Did Captain Scarlet get clear? Not yet. And time's running out. gentlemen, we have seen how the Mistrons play on the weaknesses of men. There's our traitor. One tiny valve from the hovercraft hydraulic system caused all the trouble. Yes, Major. The instrument recorder Captain Scarlet took from the hovercraft enabled us to trace the fault. Well, it's a relief to know that there are no traitors in Spectrum. We've had a metallurgical examination carried out on the valve. And in some strange way, its molecular structure was affected. How do the scientists explain that, sir? They can't. We can only assume it is the work of the Mistrons. And the fire in our bedroom at the base. That is something to which we shall never know the answer. Well, the Mistrons have shown another side of their extraordinary powers. Yes, Colonel. All we can do is remain vigilant. Green. 